Hello, welcome. Good morning, Ram Ram. You are watching AC Astro, and today we are going to talk about the Scorpio ascendant people because from 23rd or 22nd of April, there is a transit of Jupiter. How this is going to work for the Scorpio ascendant? Uh, for that, we have to go to Calgary, Canada. Akash is there. Akash, welcome. Thank you, Rohitji. Thank you so much. Uh, it- a very warm welcome to everyone all the people who are watching our video and we would like to thank everyone for sh- showing so much love and trusting us uh, i am also sorry for many of the people who are not able to get the reading done uh, rohit ji i have been so busy in my other work that uh, it's crazy i am going crazy <laughs> uh, because the year has just started and you know we are doing a lot of stuff there right But, right, uh, right. hopefully if i get time and i'm trying to do the best possible you can see my comments below uh f- first is when you put your chart just ask the one the most important question which you have i will not answer to charts who say ki this is the date of birth and do general predictions for me no this is not for uh, we, this is not entertainment if you are in de- real genuine problem to ask that one genuine question and we will answer because uh, right. uh i would i am little bit annoyed with people who want to take this for granted this is not some vidya which you can take it for granted uh, you should respect everyone like we are not charging any money so you have to understand that uh, it we are we want to help people who are in dire need not someone who just wants like do general prediction i have a comment on my chart that uh, i am a karodpati already so i will become multi karodpati i replied that um i i wish and i i hope that uh if you have so much money it will grow for you and uh, uh if you have so much money please help others who you can and that person replied with saying that uh, your job is just to predict so just predict if i will be multi crore pati or no oh my god <laughs> such people are foolish 100% and nothing is if they are having money that does not mean that uh, they will do very good in their life it is a disaster for such people to have money so i would i am like i am literally annoyed with some people but yeah there are many other people who are very genuinely in dire need so for them let's start with scorpio and how this transit is going to be for scorpio people first uh, impression of when the chart i created it was so good that uh, i can't explain because career is the most important path in our life right and right this chart here scorpio that means if you see your chart and if you see number 8 in your kundli or in your chart in the first house that means you are scorpio ascendant and for scorpio ascendant jupiter is transiting in the 6th house the 6th house is the house of ari it's called the shatru bhav it's the enemy house why is it enemy because the results six out gives are the results of the bad results for your life like you know god when lord uh, brahma vishnu mahesh the tridev were creating your kundli or the birth chart they decided that okay for scorpio ascendants like for uh, uh, scorpio as vrishchik ascendants uh, let's give the bad house to the owner of the uh chart as itself like that is why for you see the mars is the ruler of this lagna is the lord of the 6th house because here only the mars has the power to bring good results for you and jupiter is a param mitra it's a good friend of mars and it is sitting in the 6th house so what is it going to do it is going to help you lower your debts it is going to help you remove your obstacles it is going to bring a good understanding between you and your enemy and the difficulties which you are facing in terms of money in terms of court cases in terms of enemies in terms of trouble related to your health everything is going to nullify because jupiter wherever it sits gives you the best best result possible and here in the 6th house jupiter is going to give you wonderful results it is going to basically you will defeat everything it is the house of defeat you will defeat your enemies you will defeat 
or you will find new ways to get money and how that is possible because jupiter from here is putting three aspects and jupiter aspects are called the the nectar it is called like the amrit and now let's see let's talk about the first aspect which jupiter is putting in your karma sthan that is the 10th house the house of your karma the house of your self confidence the house of your livelihood career your house of your fame your business so this house will give you the maximum good results because here jupiter is looking at the house of leo which is naturally a very good friend of jupiter and here when he sees this house he will enhance all the qualities of this house you are having knees problem joints problem teeth problem everything will be solved here right you are having diseases you are having a bone fracture because jupiter is looking at this house right now oh sorry saturn is also looking at this house and it gives bone fracture if that is the case and if it is true and if you relate to it that some knee pain joint pain please comment below so that we know that yeah we are going the right way so here everything will be boosted your career your career will take a new u turn and you will be like so well placed in your uh, work environment that you will be like it will be an amazing transit for you in fact if you are looking for a job this is the best time to get a job you apply for a job and you will get a call so here very good very good placement of jupiter and very good drishti of jupiter the second drishti will be on the your 12th house that is tula tula rashi that is libra it is your 12th house the 12th house is called the house of loss okay it is the moksha bhav it is the house of detachment what happens here is that this is the house of isolation and separation from your loved ones when jupiter looks at this house and we have to be very careful here because jupiter is not a friend of venus they are both dev gurus they are not enemies but they are not friends either they both have different view points on everything so you have to be very careful i will i don't want to discourage you saying what will happen i want to tell you and say what you should do so that nothing happens first don't keep secrets don't try to be like don't be cunning because your career will enhance and all you cannot put pressure on people junior to you who are looking up to you and you like make them work right also you have to make sure that charity is very important at this point of time so charity do charity you have to also because you will be so busy in your career that it is going to affect your 12th house because it will take you to a long distance journey so automatically this house will do its work it will take you in a positive manner but still you will be away from your uh, family for a while you will be isolated because you will be staying in a hotel and you don't know anyone there so this is these are the qualities of this house and jupiter will enhance this from here jupiter will now look at your second house the second house is the house of your money your bank balance your family and your speech and the best part is that jupiter is looking at its own house that is dhanu that is sagittarius and what happens when i look in my own house i will want it to prosper right i will not destroy it i will say oh i am looking at my own house why don't i put a new frame here why don't i do this that enhance my house so that anyone who comes to my house is he feels like wow very good so jupiter is going to increase the gains increase your bank balance increase your family good family life increase non material things like happiness like pure joy it is also going to increase your bank balance here you were not able to save right but next one year you will be saving a lot of money and after that so on so jupiter give permanent good jupiter always gives permanent result in fact i've been telling in all of my videos for this transit that jupiter has already created a already done a 12 year cycle for you and it knows you very well so now it will repair everything for you so overall a very good time for everyone and rohit ji off to you now and i hope 
that all the people of Scorpio ascendant have a changed experience in their life. Yes, Rohit ji. Your audio is mute, Rohit ji. All right. Very well explained by you, Akash ji, because uh, this is really a very good time for Scorpio people. Uh, in that time when Saturn has just transit exactly. into the uh, sign of Aquarius. And Rahu is already sitting. Uh... Rahu is already sitting. Sometimes we don't say about Rahu, then people said, oh, you don't tell about this Guru Chandal Yoga and all that. But we will make separate video for that. That is why we are not telling anything about all other planets where right. they are transiting. But from Jupiter point of view, this is going to be a good transit for the Scorpio people. Thank you, Akashi, very much. But I will like to say again, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai for all the ascendants. Do chant this mantra and that will enhance the results of Jupiter transit. Thank you, Akashi. Thank you. We will meet you again with next ascendant that is Sagittarius. Till then, I will request all people who are showering loves and love and blessing on AC Astro and both of us. Please keep doing that thing. Uh, we are very thankful to all yes. of you. Thank you. Jai Shri Ram. Jai Shri Ram. Ram.